morning, good morning, good morning. Man, it's been a while since I've been on here. Been a good little while. But man, I was at the store just now on my way to church, which I'm running late, by the way. But I was at the store just now. <clears throat> and man, like, I heard something just really just irked my spirit, man. Like, it, it always irritates me, like, you know, to hear this type of, you know, these different traditions, man. Like, I, I did a previous video on it before when I had Facebook. But, man, I mean, I hear this lady came in the store. Hey, you know, you know, you didn't tell me, you, you know, told told another guy, you know, you didn't tell me Happy Mother's Day, you know, today Mother's Day, <laughs> and the, and the guy, you know, he like, okay, Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Yo, piece of gum. So I'm like, man, you know, some people really just don't get it, man. Like a lot of this stuff. A lot of this stuff is man-made. It's man-made. This ain't nothing that God created. This stuff is man-made. It's traditions that's been taught over the years. You mean to tell me women and men, good women and men at that, but all women and men that's fathers and mothers, you mean to tell me out of 365 days a year, you only eligible to feel special on one of them? That's some hellified math skills. One, one to 364. You know, if you're gonna treat somebody special one day of the year, treat them like that all year long. If you treat somebody jacked up all year, hey, that's that's don't don't wait one day and treat them special. You know, I just don't I don't understand this Mother's Day. Like, you a mother every day, you a father every day. Like, where, where does this one special day come out at? You should make them feel special every day. Like, it don't take it don't take a, a diamond necklace or a tennis bracelet or a brand new car or. You know, all this extravagant stuff to make, you know what I'm saying, or, or a new suit, or a fishing boat, or all this extravagant stuff to make somebody feel special, to, to make somebody, let somebody know that, hey, I appreciate you. It don't take all that stuff right there because they are this every day of the year. I know I'm a good daddy. I'm a great father. I, 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 that's why I tell my wife, you better not give me none on, on Father's Day. You know, if you're going to get me a special gift on Father's Day, buy it for me 365 times a year then because I'm a father every day. Don't give me nothing. It's, a, it's another day to me, but but a lot of people, a lot of people is, is, is so trapped in, in, in this traditional mindset, man, and, and these man-made principles. And we stick by these man-made principles closer to what we stick, stick by what God created. God ain't come up with no Father's Day. No Mother's Day, no Valentine's Day. You treat your woman special all year. I know. I know couples get into it, and you know couples get into it, and people fall out. You know what I'm saying? And you know sometimes you don't feel like being with the person that you, that you with. I've been there before. You know we all go through it, but Valentine's Day shouldn't be the only day that you just be like, oh, you know I'm gonna treat I'm gonna treat you. Uh, treat you special this, this this today I'm gonna get you some flowers or some chocolate and <laughs> you know what I'm saying drink a glass of wine you know what's that one for me a sweetest day sweetest day sweetest day what, what, what is sweetest day that's supposed to be the man version of Valentine's Day you know what I'm saying like this this stuff is just crazy man and we gotta we gotta stop it man because all this stuff ain't nothing. It's, it's all a, it's all a, a hustle of a, a mankind, the government. You know, ain't none of it being created by God, but the government make all the money off of it. Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day. You know what I'm saying? Everybody go out and spend all this big money on these extravagant gifts when when these people are this 365 days out the doggone year, but you only spend one day 
you know, letting them letting them know that you realize you realize them for being what they are all year. You know, this this is crazy, man. It is crazy. You know, just like Christmas. If you take care of your kids and you take care of your responsibility all year long, you don't have to wait to the end of the year to, to, to spend your to spend your your hard-earned bill money or to spend your money, your savings on a brand new iPhone or 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 a thousand dollar worth of clothes and shoes. If you buy your kids and your loved ones clothes and shoes all year long, why are you waiting till Christmas? Because Christmas is supposed to be about the birth of Jesus. That's what that's supposed to be about. It ain't got nothing to do with the iPhone 10s. You know, it ain't it ain't got nothing to do about. Oh, I gotta I gotta get my three year old daughter these 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 diamond earrings. She, she should have been had them diamond earrings. She, she could have had them diamond earrings on her birthday. Now I do understand celebrating birthday because that's some that's the day that somebody was born and you know they make it they make it again year after year after year. You know, but hey. Jesus even created, God created a birthday. He may not really call that in the Bible, but he birthed Jesus. That, you know, that, that's something that was created. You know what I'm saying? So I, I get birthday, but all this man-made stuff, man, that everybody falls slave to, that's what it is. I, I call it that. Y'all can say I'm tripping if you want to. You know what I'm saying? I'm look, I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to, to the to comments and stuff in the bottom, man, but I want y'all to just really really think deep into what I'm saying, man. Like, a lot of this stuff, man, a lot of this stuff doesn't make any sense. That's why I don't, I, I, don't, I don't live by, I don't live by no, normal life statutes. You know, I live, I live my life the way I choose to live it. And I raise my kids the way I, I choose to raise my kids. You know, me, me and my wife, we raise our kids the way we choose to raise our kids. We ain't raising our kids to believe in Santa Claus and uh, the Tooth Theory and Halloween, you know what I'm saying? We 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 don't we don't do all that right there. We know it's not because we part no certain religion or nothing like that. We, we we believers. We believers in Jesus Christ. You know, we ain't part no certain religion. We don't celebrate holidays. It's just that I think it's retarded. All these different man-made holidays that everybody fall that everybody falls slave to. You know, but. I just came to drop that video, man, because, you know, that was, that really irritated me to hear that lady. You ain't telling me Happy Mother's Day. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like people telling me Happy Father's Day. You know, I, I think, I, I honestly, I think it's retarded. Honestly, I think it's retarded. You can say I'm crazy. You can say, oh, he the devil. Like Bobby Boucher, mama. Oh, listen, he, talk, he talking, that's the devil. No, I just got sense. And I know I ain't the only one out there that, that view life like this. I got sense. I want to be recognized as, as, as a good father 365 days a year. Every day. I, I know I know y'all good mothers. Y'all don't want to be looked at as uh, special on one day out the year. If so, God bless you. I pray the best for you. I mean, I can't have nothing against you for that, but I'm just trying to for those who may not realize that how we fall slave or victim to, to some of these man, these man-made, these, these man-made holidays and principles and traditions, I made this video to, to maybe help enlighten some people, man. Just help help get some things kind of firing up there, man, and you know, maybe take the mind to another dimension. But God bless y'all. I'm about to pull up at church. And uh, yesterday, y'all was, was a great mother. Last week, you was a great mother. Last month and next month, you're going to be a great mother. So I'm not going to tell you no happy Mother's Day today. Fathers, in January, you was a great dad. March, you was a great dad. November, you're going to be a great dad. So when Father's Day come, don't look for a happy Father's Day for me. If it ain't because I'm being a jerk, listen to how deep what I'm saying.